Are we live? Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> I'm behind the countdown. <laughs> What's up, guys? So if you're coming on here or you're re-watching this, kind of explain what we're doing is a watch party of what Harley's doing. So What's Harley doing? You tell them. You got, you're better explaining. Oh, they're launching their 2021 product line today. Um, and uh, all, anything new they have. So they've released some of the stuff. Um, so you've already seen some of it. Um, and now they are releasing uh, the rest of it. So we thought we'd watch it live with you guys. That way um, we can hear your feedback on it. You can see our reaction to it. Um, and we'd be able to just hang out and have a good time. What is your issue? Nothing. I'm just playing. Okay. <laughs> Ozark HD Riders here. What's up? What's shaken bacon and bacon s? Okay, I'm, so I'm the bacon. You're the bacon s. I don't know about everybody else. That stop already. There we there. go. Oh, I'm trying. <laughs> I don't know about everybody else, but so what you do is you signed up for it online, right, Sonny? You did this. So you went in, you fill out this little form on the Harley website. They send you an email. The email said, um, "What." Put it on your calendar, basically. Yeah, it said you're you're in, and here's a calendar link. Yep, but, but we couldn't find. Still haven't seen an email from them. Like, here's where here's you go. Directions or instructions. All we found was this live.harleydavidson.com. So we're on here. They've got their little countdown going. So we're gonna we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> yeah, in two minutes, this could just go blank for all we know. <laughs> we have no idea. They've not done a very good job of getting this out to. The people that that want to watch it. Yeah, Sonny keeps refreshing his email box. Like, okay, is there something that I'm, another email that I'm missing? That <laughs> yeah, it's five minutes. So, where's my email? <laughs> it would show. Hey, this is what you need to do. Guess what? No email. <laughs> All right. So, thanks for joining us. Hang out with us. I think it's going to be an hour hour long. A lot of you, I imagine, are probably at work on a Tuesday. I would think. Um, maybe it's lunch break. Karen is. Karen's like, she's having a sneaky watch. A sneaky watch. <laughs> I have a feeling a lot of you are going to be like that, like a phone under the table. What's up, Throttle Fiend? <laughs> under the office desk. <laughs> I'm working. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited to see. I'm excited to see that what they launch, and then I'm hoping I'm not disappointed. Uh, I mean, unfortunately, for the past few years, basically all they've done is a couple different color schemes um, and that is so in the comments yeah. you guys uh, start rattling off like what you guys want to see what would you like to see tuning into you guys and baggers and brews yeah I saw they were doing one too I didn't realize they were otherwise we would have like joined theirs um, they already planned it <laughs> brought me right to the site uh, is it the same site with the countdown throttle fiend I'm just curious if we're on the right side. <laughs> <laughs> does, it, does it look yeah. like that? Okay. Timothy hasn't gotten an email either. Okay, so we're not alone on this. Right, nobody has. Oh, he got an email. Oh, what, exactly. What, is it the same thing? Yeah. You put it on your calendar, but... Oh, well. Yeah, you're right, Tom. All they've really done is raise the price, um, put in a couple different colors, bring back the Dyna. Bring back the Dyna. <laughs> <laughs> I say bring back the soft tail, but I'm just old school, I guess. <laughs> I know the new one outperforms the old one and yada, 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 but it's, it's. All right. I've got my blanket. I got my smoothie for the morning and I'm ready to. 24 seconds. I hope this actually goes into something. <laughs> right. just like <laughs> then the you big, see us panic all of a sudden. Uh, well, well, we can all be on here like trying to help each other out and figure out <laughs> where we go and what we do. I'm wondering, does anybody think they're going to have any CVOs? I heard that they're just going to have like um, the Turing models. You can go to the site now and see paint schemes. All right. Okay. Something changed. So. We're going to make this larger and us smaller. Yeah. So we can see what's going on. Welcome to HD 2021. What am I doing? Just. Do I need to press play or anything? Accept all. Gotcha. Register now. 
Hit play and let's ride. Um, hello. <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> this is just where I was at. Urgh. All right, I will get on here too. You guys can comment. <sighs> okay. I already did all this. Did you refresh? It, it just took you back to. It did. Oh. It's going to be a lot of us trying to panic and figure out. I'm sure you don't need to register again. They're going to. Everybody's seeing all your information. I don't care. <laughs> Do you want to get hold of Sunny? <laughs> <sighs> it's live now, Roy said. Okay. Send an email. So just go to live or wherever you were at. Go back to where I was at. The live Harley Davidson. Whatever that link was. Pull it up over there. I don't know what the what it was. Neither do I. <laughs> it's it's probably it's gonna be. All right, let's do it this way. I'm just gonna watch everybody else comment. All right, um, you do that. I'll see if I can't. It's gonna come. You want to get all this sunny? <laughs> okay. Count on you guys to help us out here. <laughs> okay, Chuck and Shiler are having the same issue. Eddie said it's up. It's live now. Um, the my Harley dealer is doing it live. Okay. So where did, where was that link again? Just takes me back to registering again. All right. Well, bear with us as we figure this out. No, I'm just making shit up. Did you actually find the site site itself again? The live? Live Harley Davidson? Yes. Okay. And it just has you register. Congrats. Click here to proceed without waiting. This should take me in there. There it is. All right, so I've got to... Stop here. Coming back, guys. Here we go. All right. Share screen here. Here. Chrome tab. Um, which one is it? Is it this one? <sighs> My patience is leaving me really quickly. Sorry, guys. So are they just showing a just, video? Just, just, just. They're, you're like watching a video of it all. It's not actually live. Um, they're probably doing some kind of introduction thing. Okay, so you guys saw him go through and re-enroll again. Go. Go ride. What the frick? Farther. Faster. Go wild. Doesn't matter. As long as you go. Yeah, Ride right together into that wild world. Yeah. Chase those quiet moments that are anything but quiet. <laughs> go. <laughs> I'm more less on the left side than it. I'm trying to cross the United States. It says Delta is on my lot. So how do I find him? Leave a trail of stories in your wake. It's time now.
to go. Ride four. Roll the line. Man, I'm so disappointed in this. Well, we kind of figured without them giving an email with instructions on it. <sighs> For me, riding is organic. I mean, you you really do become one with the bike. It feels like a partnership. You're, mm -hmm. you're doing something together, you know, connected to the ground, weaving, pushing through turns. It's just that moment in time where I'm completely left alone. Once you're on your bike, nothing matters. You could go to baggers and bruises and shit. That's what I was going to do. <laughs> Have they figured it out? Or are they trying to figure it out too? Looks like they're playing the same crap we're playing. Yeah. Um. Stay on part one. I'm watching the live now. All right, part one. Okay. I'm on part one. Life into it. The big twin bikes. Personally, I'm stoked to introduce this position and the wind protection. So if I want to be completely live, I would have to go. Thanks, Brad. I'm Paul James, and I had the pleasure of getting our new motorcycles to journalists from around the world so they can review our bikes. Now, I've been with Harley Davidson for 22 years, and I've been riding motorcycles for nearly 40 years, on road, off road, on racetracks, and on back roads across North America and Europe. A couple bikes in the garage right now include my 2020 Rogue Life Limited and my favorite 2009 XR 1200. And I'm Eric Buckhouse. I'm a Harley Davidson CVO product development engineer, and I have been for over 20 years, pretty much since CVO started. All right, I, I think this is it. A CVO FX I'm not sure. The very first CVO models, <laughs> and I still have it today. That is a cool bike. CVOs are special motorcycles. From the inception of CVO or custom vehicle operations, right, so. that concept was introduced in 1999 with the FXR2. And I've been a fan of the idea of factory customization and giving riders more of what they want. You're exactly right, Paul. That is one of the things I have loved about developing our CVO bikes. Well, Eric, it's our favorite time of year. Well, guys, it's, time it's to disappointing. Show off the new iron. I love <laughs> introducing the hard to find. motorcycles, and CVOs are the ultimate. We have another great lineup this year of four CVO models, and we're excited to show the world what we've been working right, on it. while working from home. Since the beginning, CVO's mantra is this, big motor, big paint, and big wheels. And big this year, tag. we deliver again with the Milwaukee 8117. <laughs> This is the highest displacement and power to ever roll out of our factory. And if you want more, CBOs, parts and accessories has plenty of kits to keep it going. He's in it and the Milwaukee 8117 has got on-demand torque and plenty of it. That's great to have that kind of power when you want to hard hit off a stoplight or you need to make a pass on a back road with passenger and luggage or you just plain want to put a smile on your face. These CVO models also deliver big paint, big wheels, industry-leading finishes, technology, craftsmanship, and attention to detail, or more accurately, the obsession to detail. Now let's start with the CVO Rogue Glide. This is an unrivaled custom bagger that handles as good as it looks. You're not the only one that thinks so. The CVO Road Glide is back in the lineup due to popular demand. Fresh this year are the all new cast lace wheels with a cast outer rim for added style and TPMS is also integrated. This design took a couple of years to develop, but it was well worth the wait. They look awesome. And to get more into the finer details or the third read that Brad talked about, all the models have all new CVO badging on the console, the speedometer, the brake calipers, the radio splash screen, and even on the storage cover. Now new on the CVO Road Glide is the Harley Davidson Audio by Rockford Fosgate Stage 2 Sound System. High-end audio in a motorcycle is something you really have to hear and feel to appreciate. It's amazing how having a soundtrack to go with the epic scenery enhances the trip. But now amp that up with this new Rockford Fosgate system. It's like having a concert experience with every ride. I did spend a lot of time evaluating our new sound system, and I didn't think we could get better than what we had, but we did. 
The sound quality and new features absolutely set a new standard. Now the CBO Street Glide is a showstopper. It's a custom bagger with the iconic Harley-Davidson Batwing fairing and a long low profile. You're going to see and be seen on the Street Glide and with the new Harley-Davidson audio by Rockford Fosgate Stage 2 sound system, you're going to hear and When hear. I grew it was growing up, it was challenging to improve like this year's CBO Street I don't know if they line, still are. But we have. But we're, we're introducing new paint and finishes this year. The bronze armor with the matching smoke satin chrome on so many different parts makes this bike look like it was dipped in bronze. Yeah, the CBO Street Glide looks awesome, Eric. The styling first and foremost. The paint options are fantastic, and of course, it has all the great ergos and stance of a street glide. And you found a way to make the sound system even better. Now, the CBO Limited is the ultimate ride for long-range touring. And I've done a couple of iron butt rides, both over a thousand miles in less than 24 hours, and that was painful. It would have been a much different experience on this bike. The CBO Limited delivers the absolute best in comfort from the riding position and the wind protection to the ultimate seat comfort. I agree 100%. This yes, CBO well, Limited Sir provides Vega, I remember unparalleled them well. comfort and convenience features everyone would want. We run Sirwin Vega speakers with a thousand and new watt this year punch are two paint and finish and schemes that I really love. One with bright now. chrome and the other the same bronze look as the Street Glide. And finally, the CBO Tri Glide. It's everything you need for an unrivaled trike touring experience that's packed with power. I come back with the CVO tri glide again. Like I guess they sold the them all. Crimson with complimentary dark finishes scheme. Once you experience it, it's the only three wheel touring bike you'll ever ride. Well, for sure, the CVO tri glide has style and comfort, and it's also got the power of the Milwaukee 8117. Now, at the press launch for this bike, I got to tell you, I loved it when we introduced it to global media. And they were new to riding trikes, and they just didn't even know what to expect. When they saw it in person, their jaws just dropped. And then when they rode it and felt the power, it was eye-opening. It's all the goodness of CBO wrapped up in the ultimate three-wheeled experience. And it's something only Harley-Davidson can deliver. So these are motorcycles designed and developed by riders and for riders, created to be the best, handcrafted and limited, and made for those riders who want it all. They really are, Paul. CVOs are the complete package. We listen to our customers. We learn what they want and need. Then we try to deliver more of it and beyond with leading technology like the Road Glide cast lace combo wheel. My team engineers CVO to over deliver, and that's just what they do. Well, thanks to your team, Eric. I have had the pleasure of riding a lot of motorcycles, and some Black bikes just here. make you feel something. It's a culmination of things that's greater than the sum of the parts. It's hard to explain, but for CVOs, it's the combination of the feel of the components, the depth and the richness of the finishes, the power, the sound. It's all these elements and more, and how they wrap you up in the ride, and how you soak in them, especially in those long rides, makes CVOs really special bikes. So, am I the only one that got that they changed the colors and they put a better Both stereo Rockford in? Both and Harley Davidson embody history, heritage, and legendary performance. And these two teams came together to push the limits of what's possible for motorcycle audio. We created what we believe is the highest performing, most advanced audio system riders have Did ever I miss experienced. It? They didn't do any engine Harley upgrades Davidson or anything? Rockford Fosgate Just was one of the industry sound? leaders in high performance audio and that they were absolutely as passionate about audio as we are about motorcycles. Rockford Fosgate's attention to detail, their deep bench of audio design capability, and their amplifier and loudspeaker collaboration is down. second to none. Yeah, they're expensive. So together, we had no doubt that this partnership was I going really to allow us to take motorcycle audio wise, to the next level. The brand new Harley Davidson audio, powered by Rockford yeah, Fosgate, we can't I wait mean, for you to hear what you're missing. They should have at least done the 131. Right now, Indians just whipping their butt in performance. But we got a better stereo. <laughs> All right, what'd they do on the specials? Listen, when you're in the city, man, you have noise, you have light, you have all these different distractions. It's all coming at you with all these different angles. 
it beats you up and you need some sort of escape to keep going in that environment. I've worked in so many creative fields, art direction, graphic design, clothing design. I have so many different things that I'm doing. I have so many different ideas that I want to bring to life. When I'm out there, I'm being inspired and I'm creating a new story for myself. When I don't ride for a long time, I feel like something's missing. And when I get on the bike, something clicks in me. I come back with a different enthusiasm. And I have more ideas as well. Coming from the sport bike world, we kind of like judge Harleys, you know what I'm saying? Based on like what they look like and like the people who are riding them. And I was that person. I just didn't know what that world was like. Sound good. <laughs> Hey, that is everything that dead. I'm doing on a bike, I'm like the most alive. There are those moments, and I'm seeing it from the outside. <laughs> That's like action for me. Like I'm, I'm starring in my own movie. You know, you harness this machine and and navigate through this concrete jungle. Like that's real energy right there. That's power. That to me is just like poetry in motion. Well, they spent a lot of money on the production of the videos. It seems like sound's the big thing now though, right? Everywhere you go, sound, making sure it sounds good as far Hello, as Hello, my name is radio. Paul Weiss and I'm a technical <laughs> lead for Harry Hamilton Motor Company. I've been riding for three decades now. I started from the moment I turned 16. I actually put on about 18,000 miles on the street each year. I just picked up my 15th street glide. I'm Jillian Dretzka. I'm a test engineer here at Harley. My story's a little different than yours. My dad bought me my first dirt bike at four, and I grew up racing motocross. When I started riding street bikes, I fell in love with what Harley Davidson represented to me. Freedom, passion, excitement, and that rebellious spirit. I'm excited to be here today to introduce our new special models that continue to push factory custom to the next level. Let's get a look at the 2021 Street Glide, Road Glide, and Road King specials. These powerful modern custom baggers are classically designed with a timeless style. Now for me, with the models I put on, a bagger's a no-brainer. I really enjoy the practical side of a touring vehicle with the added wind protection, the luggage, more comfortable seat, and a very nice suspension. And I always upgrade with the rider safety enhancement option. These bikes are truly an artful balance between form and function. For the first time, the Street Glide Special and Road Glide Special are also available in chrome finish, as well as the previous offered blacked out finishes. Adventure starts with the 2021 Street Glide Special, and it starts with a roar and a rumble of the legendary Milwaukee 8 114 V-Twin engine. Then turn up the cranking sound system to provide that perfect harmony. If I were to jump on one of these bikes right now, Paul, I would head out to Sturgis. It's always been on my bucket <laughs> list, and this seems like the perfect bike to ride Come there. On, I, know, I know it's crazy when people Sturgis going to Sturgis. The five gallon of bucket lists. When you look at the riding out there, it's just phenomenal from Custer to Needles to Nemo Canyon, Van Acker, Spearfish Canyon, crossover to Devil's Tower. Amazing, epic rides out there. And speaking of bikes, to get lost in that ride, let's look at the Road Glide Special. The 2021 Road Glide Special is the kind of motorcycle you want to take a nice long look at and an even longer ride on. The iconic touring design with a two-tone paint option, the shark nose fixed fairing, this thing is a classic by the time you hit second gear. What impresses me most as a test engineer is the 114 powertrain. That throaty rumble, smooth and responsive delivery really packs the power. This powertrain must feel even better on the lighter Road King Special. Yeah, it sure does. The 21 Road King Special is yeah, okay. loaded with Roy, power and that, Roy. This custom <laughs> bagger commands a presence wherever you go. Work in front yeah, of back, not the back, front ponies. fender, That's the, problem. the blacked out nacelle, few more ponies bars, and it would be a transitioning show. to the bags. This Road King drips in that classic profile of a Harley Davidson. And yet the design of the bike is agile and easy to that handle. Looks like an old military if you're the type of rider that likes to rip cool. it and rip it, this is your steed. As I said earlier, we don't take specials lightly here at Harley. I promise you, there is no better way to explore the world than on the Street Glide, Road Glide, and Road King specials. Well, isn't that special? Color theory.
The cards always have phenomenal color taste, is really powerful but they're not because it triggers anymore. an emotion. It triggers a memory like a for somebody. Or a we have to be very thoughtful about our development of color because it, I mean, it can be something that's I so my personal. 05 fat boy with the metal color frame. became a really I mean, important part of the design story unique. for Harley Davidson in the mid to late 20s. And then from that point on, color just exploded at the company. It transformed into self-expression and a culture. Our 2021 palette is exciting. This year for our inspiration, we developed color stories. Dark Opulence is a really dark, moody color palette. It's oh, deep, boy. rich jewel tones, <laughs> like our crimson. Also a slightly so a desaturated person. green, and you can see that in our palette, with Deadwood Green. You can taste the oak. Shifting Chroma is a little more about effect and finish than it is actually about color. We've got a color called Snake Venom. So it's a new color shift for us, and it shifts from this beautiful emerald green to a purple. Okay. If you're going to talk color and finish and graphics, you got to start with CBO. You get this wide selection of choice. Any CBO customer, in terms of taste, can find something that they are going to love in that lineup. We've got this amazing palette that we're rolling out for model year 21, and we're going to continue to develop and innovate and bring something new and exciting to the consumer. That purple looks pretty. <laughs> I don't see myself as a female writer. I see myself as a writer. I am a motorcyclist. A motorcyclist. I'm just living my hmm. life the way Mr. I want. G brought up a good point. For me, I know if I'm happy, What's with all the green? I'm fulfilled. I remember when you did not buy a green set, bike or ride a green bike. I can be the best wife, the best mother, the best friend, the best entrepreneur, the best Do people like me. I guess. For me, a motorcycle isn't just yeah, a way to commute. It's really my good, way of exploring like... the roads less traveled. The desert is always my favorite place to ride. Does anybody know who this is? Does to some, it smiles of nothing, but to us, it smiles of everything. You have someone that works it. It's just complete solitude. So you really have time to think. Silence. Coming out of that fog after I had my daughter, it was just like, what can I do to feel like myself? What is the first thing I want to do when I have some time? Roy, 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 and Roy. the adrenaline rush, the feel well, of it. It always has been considered green as bad luck. My old self did. Um, We're meant to wander and wander. There's no better way to do that than riding a Harley. Oh, motorcycle. You never bought a green motorcycle. If you truly love to do something, you got to go do it, no matter what. Because I want my daughter to live a life like that. I guess this is part of the breaking from tradition. My destination has always been coming back home. And coming out here, being alone, brings me closer to being home, to being present in my life. So, all right, so if you're this just joining us, and a lot of you me. jumped on here, we're just, we're just watching what they have on their website, revealing the different lineup for 2021. Street Rob 114. Hi, everyone. I'm Narissa Cerny. I'm a systems engineer at Harley-Davidson. I'm also a founder of an all-female motorcycle build team called the Iron Angels. This team is part of the Build Moto program, which teaches high school students mechanical and business skills. My riding journey started about eight years ago with the basic riders course. Hey, Harley family. My name is Yomi Famuyiwa. I'm a design engineer in the Red X problem solving team at Harley Website Davidson. Says, I started riding about six years ago in graduate school. Founder of Babes Ride Since out. starting at Harley That's Davidson, cool. I've been lucky enough to ride nearly all of the current models. I bought a Rogue Life Special in that beautiful Wicked Red denim as well. My love for riding grew with the ability to just hop on and take an adventure whenever I have that craving. I love the bare bones nature of the street bob. There's no fairings, no speakers, or bells and whistles. It's a perfect bike for that solo rider looking for that classic Harley look and the performance of the refined Milwaukee 8 engine with comfortable mini A handlebars. The Street Bob 114 has enough attitude and performance out of the box that experienced riders will love it, but it's also easy riding and completely manageable for someone new to the big twin bikes. 
Personally, I'm stoked to introduce this bike for two reasons. First, there are pieces on this bike that I actually helped design, so it's pretty exciting to see some of my work go into production. But secondly, I can totally imagine some of my friends owning this bike, customizing it to their personalities, and having some really memorable journeys on it. So just thinking of that makes me feel really excited about it. It's amazing how much straight ahead, raw bobber attitude you can pack into a bike that's one of our lightest weight soft tails. As with all HD products, the fit and finishes are top of the line. With sweet new tank graphics and a Milwaukee 8114 engine, the Street Bob makes an impressive entrance. And now to get some presents from well down the road to give people plenty of time to step back right, I'm a sucker and get a good for long look as you roll by. I like that. As a design side. engineer, I appreciate the instrument gauge is being integrated into the handlebar. We call this a digital rider gauge. This provides a clean look for the handlebar from all views of the motorcycle. The instrument being digital makes it easier for the rider to have a quick glance down, check out their speed or their gas, and look up to enjoy their ride and the scenery around them. The Street Bob is one of only two bikes to have this feature in the soft tail lineup, so it makes it that much more special. As a rider, I appreciate the riding position with mid-controls and mini ape handlebars. The open position allows you to take in all of the wind and the environment on your chest and your legs and your arms to connect you further with the environment through your one-of-a-kind Harley Davidson. Just talking about this makes me want to hop on the bike right now. Do you want to you want to go or I what mean, do you think? We... No? <laughs> afterwards. Next, Maybe afterwards. later. Okay. <laughs> Since this bike is highly customizable, this bike can be set up with a small fairing and saddlebags for a great weekend adventure. Everything is customizable this year, as long as you spend the money. The performance upgrades are at a whole new level, and these upgrades really take that acceleration and drivability to the next level. That's what this bike is all about. This multi-purpose bike can fulfill all my reasons for riding with a few small adjustments or no adjustments at all. That's why I love the Street Bob 114, and I know customers will too. Apparel and riding gear? Is that all the motorcycles? This perception that fashion is, a, is, is this really glitzy, I mean, fun thing. Really, it's a, it's a work and a passion that people have for, for creating apparel. <laughs> there's a science to it and there's, a, there's an art to it. And that creativity to, to be inspired and try a new type of product that we haven't done before, a new style, a new fabric, introducing a new logo. We're always trying new ideas and you have to try those things. And, and I don't know why they want to change the logo. The logo is iconic. Of anything we that have doesn't need to be changed, the logo is authentic. Our connection to that heritage is going to show up in a more powerful <laughs> All the things way they could this change. year in our product. The one thing that wouldn't change. That's okay, so when they start doing stuff like that, the main things aren't working. So somebody tells them, you need to do something As a designer, the excitement of working for Harley is the heritage of the brand and that we can bring that into the apparel. We also want to make sure that we're current and that we're looking at the innovation and that the product is right for the customer. what I'm here for. I'm not here for trends in music, art, fashion. Those are things that inspire our designers and, and product teams. When starting a line each season, I think like as a designer, we're like constantly looking. So I don't think we ever switch off. There's always things that are influencing yeah, you know, yeah, ideas come with that a price hike, we're taking some reference from. You know, there's, there's color that around us all the times and there's trends and things I almost in want market to just that and subconsciously you, we're all <laughs> absorbing. And even if we're not aware of it, that that color is the color of the season. It's a very I'm personal you. journey when I got a you're shopping and thinking and about clothes for yourself or and purchasing for others. We're using kind of our, our instincts to say this feels I'll right. We think track. our customers going to love it. Let's try it. Can you can you guys hear us okay with them talking? Let us know. Fat boy. I'm a fat boy guy. That okay. This would better be See, spectacular. We're just throwing in. People have the idea that La Dolce Vita is something Italian and it means the sweet life. But living a good life, you can live it anywhere if you're fortunate enough to do the things that you love, surrounded by good friends and family. You have it anywhere. So maybe 10 years ago, I'd taken a pause from <laughs> exactly riding and I was going through a phase in my work life that was very stressful. I started riding again and I got on a bike on some difficult terrain where I had to pay attention and I rode for the whole day. And at the end of that day, I realized that for the first time in a long time, I didn't think about work. I wasn't stressed and that made me go back to bikes. 
the bike it's confident powerful maybe sometimes a little arrogant I saw all these movies when I was a kid, all these American films, and I captured all these frames in my head, and a lot of those frames have become reality. It's part of the American heritage, and it's part of the American dream. You want to interact with it. You want to be a part of it. You want to be in the movie. There's something beautiful in that. I'm very grateful about the life that I have here in America. So for me, La Dolce Vita is right here, right now. So the fat boy is our Italian sports car. That's what I got from that. <laughs> what I got from that. It's the Ferrari Hello, everyone. and Carly. I'm Bill Davidson, great-grandson of one of the original founders, William A. Davidson. And I'm Karen Davidson, great-granddaughter of William A. Davidson. Back in 1990, Harley Davidson introduced a new motorcycle that really surprised the world. That motorcycle was the 1990 Fat Boy. It had a presence. It had a dominance. It was fat. And it was <laughs> an awesome motorcycle. Let's talk about the original style points. Its signature solid wheels established the, the theme fat. And as Willie G, our dad, has stated, no, they didn't our talk motorcycles about the side have effects. always had a substantial <laughs> and massive visual presence. With the wheels Your identifying the bike, following is a headlamp and upper fork mass. All of the pieces have to work in concert with one another. Proportion is key. And with the Fat Boy, the design has become one of our most iconic in history. Let's take a quick walk through this beautiful bike for 2021, the new Fat Boy. One of the things that you're gonna see is that this bike is brighter, it's wider, it's bigger, it has a greater dominance. And that brightness is due to the chroming that we did throughout the motorcycle. And this was a desire we were hearing from the marketplace. So we brought that answer by chroming out the bike, starting with the front end. This massive front wheel and tire combination, 160 millimeter wide front tire with a chopped fender to expose that beautiful tire a little bit more. These chrome cover upper fork tubes, this beautiful headlight nacelle that's chromed out, the risers. And I love this piece because from a rider's perspective, you're looking down at this and all you see is attention to detail. This beautiful tank console with the bullet holes in the bottom portion of the tank console. You're sitting on top of an awesome 114 cubic inch Milwaukee 8 V-Twin. The ventilator cover on the air cleaner, the chrome covers on the engine, the two into two exhaust is now all chromed out. Working towards the back of the bike, these chromed out fender struts with a chopped rear fender to expose that massive 240 millimeter wide back tire. You know, this bike, when you stand back and you take a look at it from front to back, you do say, wow, what a stunning motorcycle. The one thing I want to say about Harley over all the other companies out there. So a huge thank things. you for joining us today. I promise you there's more adventure ahead. What makes me a huge As fan. I mentioned earlier, I just got back from testing our Pan America motorcycle in the rugged landscape of Kenya. And all I, I can tell you today is that the bike is it's incredible. Like, we are reinventing it, adventure it's touring, it's touring and I'm very excited about it. Off. Jason yeah. Momoa has captured the energy of this new Harley Davidson experience masterfully. And so I'd like to close with a preview of his film and remind you all that on February 22nd, Jason and I will be revealing Pan America and all the details you've been waiting for. If you haven't registered for the global event, be sure to visit h dot I would, but I probably wouldn't get in. Thank you for spending time with us today, and we'll see you on your next Harley adventure. See you. Oh, all right. I thought that was, it was gonna be like an hour long. <laughs> like I needed my popcorn to sit down and watch Well, I cut but... some of it out because of the late start. I don't think anybody wants to watch this video. Yeah. All right. Now you can talk. Now you can talk, honey. Take so <laughs> I will say this much. Um, in the Fat Boy introduction, there were two grandkids or great-grandkids of Davidson. Um, 
that's the one thing that I'll always love about Harley, right? From since one <laughs> since 1903, the family has been involved in the business. Um, you know, and to me, that's that heritage. Um, and I've said this before, and I'm not knocking Indian, but not Indian claims to be from 1901, but there's none of that. There's no family from the original creators in the company or anything like that. So for me, I mean, that's one thing that always attract me to the Harley Davidson brand. Um, but I will say I'm, I'm a little disappointed with, I can't, I'm disappointed, but not surprised. Isn't this pretty much what they do every year? Um, they change the colors a little bit. Um, and they raised the price a little bit, but I mean, there was nothing groundbreaking in that at all. Okay, we got Rockford Fosgate speakers. Big flip and deal. I think I'm with you on paint scheme, like some more, like add some let's get, flames. Let's some get creative something here, guys. In it that makes it, yeah. We are just not. Because you buy this bike and you spend all this money, and then you got you got to go do more to it to make it look cooler to add some personality to it personality yes well, the personality <laughs> i mean harley's excellent at that right though um i mean that's they've done that for years they put a base to it and then you go spend your money on it um but you know i just expect more at least in the paint department right they've been known forever to have epic paint um, why not? I mean, go look at some of the old paint and why not bring some of that back? <laughs> flames and dragons. <laughs> now you're talking. Skulls. <laughs> right. Skulls, flames, dragons. I mean, there's got to be some cool stuff out there, right? Yeah, the skulls and the smoke. Ozarks yeah. doesn't care for the green paint. Um, I mean, I get it. Who does out there? Like, <laughs> Are there any green paint people out there? Do you like green paint? I, I just want to know because it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't, I, I don't know anybody that really likes green paint. So if you like green paint, that's awesome. Tell us because then I'm like, okay, this makes total sense. Hang on though. I mean, Karen's from Ireland. She's got to like green bikes. Right? <laughs> Karen, do you like green <laughs> bikes? They're getting lazy and lacking imagination. You know, Maybe they are, or maybe they're just so out of touch with the people that buy their bikes. Um, or maybe I'm out of touch with the people that buy their bikes. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm just too old school and thinking, you know, the flames and the skulls and that stuff looks cool when really it's just a plain purple bike that is cool. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, much smarter people than me run that company. So I, I don't know. So yeah, Kim's talking about green is bad luck. It always has yeah. been bad luck um, since what World War II. I did a video on that whole story of you know um, when they shipped all the bikes back um, and people were like buying the service bikes, they would like break down. Okay, and go back. So luck. Kim's got little baby yoga on her picture. Did everybody catch that? Yoga. Little baby. Look, yoga. it's baby yoga. <laughs> Does she have yoga pants on? He's cute. Okay. Sorry. I'm guessing Karen's okay. not a good one. I really See, like even, the purple even fade. Even the one from one. Ireland doesn't like the green. Laverne, I really like the yeah. purple fade. I mean, that was a pretty neat feature, right? Um, so my fat boy, my 2000 fat boy, the has like metal flake in it. And if you go from side to side on the bike, it changes color. I've always thought that was like yeah. really cool. So it is cool to, to see them doing more of that stuff. Um, but I mean, they did that on one bike. What about all the other bikes? Um, and that was, I think that was a trike, wasn't it? Was that the trike that they did that on? I don't even remember. <laughs> she says she loves him. I am. Let's see. What did I miss? Thanks for tagging. Yeah. Green on bikes is bad luck. Yep, that's it. Okay, so <laughs> Ray Burt Benson Jr. said it was a flop. Are the, is Harley thinking green means more money for them? I don't know. <laughs> they got to get green we'll somehow. Green out to the world and hopefully we'll get more green. I, I don't know. That's funny. Um, Ray is saying a flop. Yeah. All right, back to work. 
Thanks for doing this. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Glad you joined us. I guess we got to go back to work too, but it was just, I was, man, I was, I'm disappointed. I was hoping for more, at least like one new bike, something groundbreaking. I know the Pan America is coming and that's cool, but we've known about that for two flipping years. So, <laughs> what Dan say? Have a four-leaf clover on that green paint. <laughs> yep, yep, you're right. Womp, womp. Womp, womp. Yeah. yeah, I know it. They put on World War II in olive drab a few years back that don't look too. I sold a few of those. Um, the uh, with the star on the tank, uh, and they did. Uh, I think they did a one ten on that. Um, that was that was a pretty good looking bike. I mean, for a green bike. Um, but still, it didn't sell. A new Springer would be awesome. Yeah. If they would do something like that, yeah. now that would be flipping cool. Yeah. And the technology is there today where they could make it a better riding bike, right? Because that was the, the – a lot of people complained about the Springer being not such a good riding bike. Um, but the technology is there. They could do it. Um, and that would be flipping cool, right? And that's something the competitors don't have. Indian don't have a Springer. I mean, come on, let's think out of the box. Let's yeah. go back and get some of the stuff that kicked ass years ago and bring it back more modern and kick ass today. My dad's on a Springer. I love his Springer. They're putting all their eggs in the Pan American bike. I think so. I painted aircraft. Oh, that's cool. Ample opportunity to make corrections to be able to meet the market demands, but refuse to because they are stuck in the 70s and 80s when they were at their peak. Maybe. I wish they'd go back to the 70s and 80s, Green. honestly. Green. Gotta head back to work. Yes, guys, <laughs> go back to work. If Thanks you, for joining us, guys. Don't get in trouble. If you got in trouble for watching this, it was all her fault. I want- You can blame it on me. I'm, I'm okay with that. So Karen makes a good point. I, the, I think they call them like, Resto mods or retro mods where they take a old hot rod, right? And they put a bunch of new stuff in it. I would love to see Harley do that same thing. Take some old designs and then put the new technology in it. And then we have the best of both worlds. Because now we have a new bike that looks like an old cool bike. Um, I don't know why they wouldn't do that. Well, they have the technology. What? Their demographics is what? Our age and up. Yes. I mean, we like the old school stuff. Why? Yeah, well, Maybe they, they don't get this. I don't know. As I've always said, people grow into Harley Davidson. Um, 19 and 20, when I was 20 years old, I looked at a Harley and thought, that is the ugliest piece of shit I've ever seen in my life. It's just the way I felt. Well, I wanted a crotch rocket. I wanted something sleek and fast and, you know, badass. And so Joe on here in the stunt line, he's in his 30s. You know, he's not into the Harleys. You know, <laughs> he's so not going to be for a their while. Their target audience is going to be 35 to 70. Why not actually target that audience? Think about, well, what would they want and build something like that instead of, I don't know. It's hoping for an announcement for a replacement for the Sportster. Um, I think there's one coming, actually. Um, but I thought the Sportster was going to be gone this year. That's what everybody was saying. Um, not yet, but I think there is one coming, 1250 or some crap like that. I think I've seen something on it. Don't quote me on that because I, I could be wrong. 131 standard in the soft hill, at least a special edition, right? We just buy it off the showroom floor with the 131. I don't know why they couldn't have done that. Roy, new CEO said he was going back to old school. Maybe he hasn't been here long enough. <laughs> He's just not old school enough. He went back like five years. <laughs> That's not old school. They should have put the same system on all the CPU models, right? So I'm like Ralph's and oh, stripped down electro glide was a step in the right direction, not a few more thousands off. You know, yeah. Um, but some performance. They still they're still lacking in the performance game. I mean, if you really want to go out and compete with some of the other bikes in the marketplace, um, on performance, you have to spend a few thousand dollars to do that. And that stinks. Nice meeting you, Lisa. <laughs> Met him on Stevie Foe's um, live. Oh, yeah. 
Do you know which bikes they are dropping or not continuing? They made a list. I have to go back and look at it, but I know like, I think they said the deluxe is gone. Um, what else? There was three or four soft tail models that they just weren't gonna make anymore. Um, and uh, a couple of Sportster models, but I literally have to go back and, and it's been a while. But um, they did drop a few of them, a few of the soft tails, a few of the Sportsters. Um, I don't think they dropped any of the touring line. For those of you, we're on YouTube and Facebook, guys. So if you're kind of confused, you're seeing some, you're not seeing, com you're like, where are these comments from? So we have a YouTube channel. You can go subscribe. Or we have Facebook. Um, you can go, so go, go follow us. Joe is only young. Give him time. <laughs> <laughs> He'll grow up one day. Hey, Mr. G965. He's Why back. <laughs> Rides a victory. And yeah. it's too bad, you know. It's too bad that they did get rid of the victory. I think victory was a, a decent alternative. That had a jackpot, right? Yeah. 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 Waited for more than a year just to see color changes. I'm so disappointed. I agree. <laughs> it took a year and a half for them to launch new colors. Um, I thought since they were pushing it to January, they'd have like this big, we did this and man, nothing. Why? I don't understand. I thought this was going to come out in the CBO model. If they had them, we was all being told there wasn't going to be no CV. Yep, I heard that too, that there wasn't going to be any CVO models, but there is, and they have an upgraded stereo. You're welcome. <laughs> Deluxe, Lowrider, Breakout, FXDR, and Roadster. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm a little surprised that there's getting rid of the Breakout. Um, that was kind of their wide tire bike. Of course, they have the Fat Boy, um, but I didn't like the Breakout's new gas tank. Um, so CVO was a 117 and the specials are 114s. Right? Um, you're right, Toby. Back in the day, ha, listen to me, back in the day. Back in the day, like when they made the 2005 Fat Boy, um, we were two engine sizes ahead. So it had the 88 on the production model and the 103 on the CVOs. So, I mean, to me, 114 and 117 isn't, isn't two, two motors ahead. So um, I'm a little disappointed there too. Oh, I hate it when it bounces like that. Grrr. I heard they're about five miles here in Australia. Yep, they're getting rid of a few of them. HD website, the street 750s are gone. As an FYI, not sure if they are. Yeah, I think I heard something about that. They're keeping the 500s, and mainly the 500s are just to do classes on. <laughs> just start including stage one kits on Apple. That would help. I mean, it's still not going to get them there. They need, what, probably a stage two to really come up and challenge the, and challenge the challenger. Ah, I'm so funny. <laughs> Where am I at? I lost it. I lost my spot. Okay, there's where we were. What's the best model of Harley? For me, the Breakout 2016. For me, it's the Fat Boy. Um, I, I own three of them. So I have two Fat Boy CVOs and then a custom Fat Boy. And all of them have been great bikes. Mine's got a hundred. One of them's got a hundred thousand. One's got thirty thousand. One's got sixty thousand. They've just been really good bikes. I like the fit. I like the feel. I like the sound. I just like them. And I ride whatever he gets me. <laughs> there are three sportsters. Corp has completely disowned them by putting them in the street category and not even mentioning them today. Yeah. Um, I mean, when I sold bikes, I didn't sell very many Sportsters. I sold as many of those as I sold V-Rods. And Nancy knows a secret way to change the head spray in a victory without pulling the heads. If anybody needs that info, reach out to Nancy. They were trying to meet base model price of 40K, so there's no way they could do that without upgrade. Right? Lowers on the CBO Street Glide, bring them back. Okay. 
always been habitual letdown. The CBO models are supposed to be their high end. You're right. CBO is supposed to be the absolute top of the top. So for them to not, for the $50,000 CBO not to outperform the $28,000 Challenger, I think that's a problem in itself. So they're literally selling the paint and the um, stereo and just a little amenities, right? They're not horsepower, none of that. From France, was hoping at least beautiful paints for CVOs, like you said, hopefully they are. Now right, CVO on the side for customers who spent so much money. Yeah, so they did some upgraded badging. Who the flip cares? I just, uh, no remote locking panels, no electric windshield. What do the ladies do all year with the same lazy, lazy rubbish? I agree. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what took them a year and a half to come out with. <sighs> What's your opinion on the fat boy? I'm on the fence with it, but I sort of like it. So I think it looks really good. Honestly, I haven't ridden it yet, so I don't know how it rides. Um, Everybody says that that new Softail platform is a much better upgrade as far as performance goes. I like the old school Softail, so for me, it's like I don't know. It does. It looks good. If you want a new, if you want a newer Softail, for me, the Fat Boy looks the best out of all the Softails. Where are you going? I like the Fat Boy myself. I don't have one. But about a month before snow started flying, I came across a 92 Ultra Classic. There you go. I'll take a 92 over <laughs> a 2022 at this point. You know, back in 2016, I was selling motorcycles. They had some really nice CBOs. They did. They had a yellow one with flames on it. I mean, they had a few with flames. They were, they were still outside the box. Now it's just plain colors with logos on it. They're selling the paint, a few amenities, not many, and the CBO brand. Yep, you're right. When the head designer of CBO said he'd been there for over 20 years, it explained everything. <laughs> I bet the dealers can't be very excited. No, I don't think they can be either. And with everything that's going on right now, I, I imagine it's a, it's a struggle. I did some interesting picks on a breakout last year. I just, for me, the breakout, I can't get over that small gas tank. Drives me insane. Complacency. You're right. It's worked so long until, I mean, until, I don't know, until Indian truly comes in and takes like a big market share or something from them, I don't see them changing anything. And right now, even though Indian is doing really good in comparison, I mean, it's, it's minuscule. Um, the amount of bikes Indians sell versus the amount that Harley sells. When that becomes more even or larger, maybe that wakes them up. I don't know. I don't know the answer. I just know this wasn't it. <laughs> so maybe the, maybe the Pan America does something. I don't know. I'm excited to see it just to see something different, honestly. <laughs> from Harley. I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to ride it. Um, there was nothing here today that I was excited to be like, Ooh, I want to run down to the dealership and I want to ride that bike and do a video or something on it. I mean, if that tells you anything, right. Um, all of us that are content creators, we look for the cool new bike to go ride, right. So that we can like share it with everybody. There was not a single one in there that I'm like, Ooh, I got to run down and ride that bike. If I'm that way, I can't imagine, you know, I don't know what percentage of the world is like, ooh, um, it's the same as last year, it's a different color. All right, I'm going to put a spin on this. Did anybody hear anything that they did like? I'm curious to know. I heard the bathroom call. <laughs> He's running to the George bathroom. <laughs> he just likes to be here. Yeah, was there anything at all? I mean, I think it's cool, the sound systems. I know that's a big thing now. When we went to Daytona Bike Week, they you know, have the, the competition there. But sometimes that gets a little crazy. Okay, so 
ever it's like the so the one fourteen street bob and the what are I saying chrome for for fat boy yeah i they'd started going away from all the 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 chrome before so i don't know i think the younger kids like joe can chime in here if he's still on here that um you know the less that they have to do but for us we'll sit out there and like like amy with stevie Bo was doing was shining up her bike right sitting there cleaning our white walls and making them look pretty. And, and so they started going away from, you know, that, that, um, the bling of it more, everything's more matte and flat. So. <laughs> clothing yes. models, right? Yes, we do. I'm gonna run out. So, yeah. Like some yeah, Rockford great. Fosgate's a great product. Um, you know, so they went out and they outsourced their new speakers to Rockford Fosgate and, um, they're going to charge you extra for that. I mean, honestly, you could have done that. So, I mean, yes, it's an improvement. Um, is it an improvement in where I think the improvement should have been? No, but I mean, it's an improvement. I'm throwing up the banner for everybody. World record poker run. Go to sportbikers.com. Sorry. <laughs> they have a future custom model that looks like a modified XR1200 that kind of looks interesting. Cool. Yeah, I think they've got one that's going to be available in the European market with a different motor and all in it. Um, I think that's coming. So... Hardest part about being a salesperson is when you don't believe in the product you're selling versus competitors. That's why it's so easy to sell the world record poker run. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Toby. We think it's easy to sell too. We're excited about doing it. As a five-year-old daughter that loves to polish the chrome on my, bring them on down. Yeah. I've, got, I've got four bikes that need chrome. He's teaching them right. Yeah. That's exactly, William. That's <laughs> Get out there and, and and love and appreciate something and want to shine something up, right? I don't, you know, and spend that time doing it. Well, guys, or have him spend did that you time notice the it. other thing that at least I noticed? They didn't mention the live wire at all. No. So no upgrades to the live wire. I know a lot of you don't care about the live wire, but I've ridden the live wire. It's and fun. that's and that's it's a pretty cool bike. Uh -huh. If you if you accept it for exactly what it is. Um, it's a it's a fun bike, um, you know, a bar hopper essentially. <laughs> it's like a chopper. You can't go very far on it, but it's a lot of fun to get there. Um, the the live wire is that, but I didn't see any kind of upgrades or any mention of it either. So um, right. So Toby said spot on. I have personally installed Rockford Fosgate speakers and amps into road glides. Right. I mean, that's not anything you can't go do. Um, I want stuff that, you know, you wouldn't go do. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, that's cool. Aww. Arlen Ness. He was the king. So Nancy, are, are you with um, Jared here in this area? Jared Weems? She's no. in, she is in Tennessee. In but Tennessee. She might be related. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Love to hear more about the Pan America, but I guess we have to wait till February. Yeah, um, you can do some research out there. There's some there's some more info on it, but yeah, the price. Somebody said they saw a leaked price that it was going to be seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars. If so, that puts them pretty competitive, which is not Harley's mo. So we'll see. Thank you, David. <laughs> That would help us out. Thank you. Yes, likes, thumbs up, all that stuff, guys. That just helps our channel out. Um, you know, we appreciate all of you coming and hanging out with us, though. We had a good time. Um, yes, <laughs> the live wire is a blast to ride. <laughs> Angie modeled the helmets. Yes, if she could get them <laughs> on and off, she would be in. That would be a show all in of itself. Yeah, you know right. An hour of Angie taking a helmet on and off. Does everybody else's ears get red when they take their helmet off? And off? 
I wonder how the live wire battery would do in, in cold, cold weather. Yeah. That's a test. Right. The challenge with the live wire is where can you go? Um, bags, fairings, more weight means less distance for the battery. That's true. I mean, other than other than accepting it for what it is, you know, kind of like a chopper, right? You didn't put bags and fairings on a chopper, but you spent $50,000 for a chopper that you could ride down the street and say that Orange County Choppers or Jesse James or somebody built you a custom bike. So, I mean, I look at it as that same category. Is it's just something you're going to get on and rip around, goof off on, maybe mm -hmm. commute if you're in a big city. But for like me, I would buy it just to rip it down to the dealership and around town. But it wouldn't it wouldn't be any more than that. Um, All our friends and neighbors just need to buy one so that we can go ride there. So. I would I would get on a real bike to take any trip. <laughs> the only live wire, 30k, and you can make a round trip to the local city limits. <laughs> exactly. Um, it's not for everybody. Jared's mom. Oh, okay. We love Jared. Jared's so cool. I saw a video. He's out camping. So we looked freaking cold. We're playing on Gibbstown. I don't know. If I was going to see if he's going to Gibbstown or not. We're going to go next weekend. I'm sure he's going. In all seriousness, it does look like a fun ride. It is. It's a blast to ride. We did demo rides on it. Yeah. Absolute blast. And they sound like the Tron bikes. So they, they don't sound like a motorcycle, but they still make a cool sound. Yeah. What's long way up? See how the battery's working cold temps. I got you. Long way up. Yeah. I have not watched but pieces of it. Yeah. But from yeah. what I understand, for me, it's unrealistic, right? Unless you're, you know, unless you're them, you're not going to have the ability to do what they did. Uh, but it does, it does break out, you know, what the bike will do, I guess. A little disappointed sitting here in Europe. Sports are discontinued. No 107. Yeah. I'm sure that they have something in the works for Europe. That's too big of a market for them to ignore. Yeah. Um, I just, maybe they announce it with the Pan America. Maybe they, maybe. So Harley does like to do mid year releases. Um, so that might be a possibility too. Six months from now, they do a mid year release on them uh, because they do like to do that. So um, keep an eye out. I think there's something in the works. I wonder if I ever wanted to charge a hydro, change the hydraulic clutch to a cable, would Harley replace them? I doubt it. Harley's not going to do anything for free. So, yes. So, Nancy points this out. We are signed up. We've got our name in there. Um, go to weemsmotorco.com to, to get in the drawing. If you guys have not seen his replica, he I've seen it in person. And, bike. yeah. So, and it goes towards a great cause. I think it's 25 bucks a ticket or yep. five tickets for a hundred dollars. It goes to um, Forgotten Angels, which is a great charity. Uh, but better yet, you get a chance to win this replica bike um, that is just, we've seen it in person. It's beautiful, immaculate, um, love it. For, Forgotten Angels is to help. So the kids that have, um, they're too old to be. They've aged out of the foster system. Aged out of the foster system. There you go. Thank you. I said that very well. So I'm very eloquent. <laughs> Thank you. It's more than I am for sure. <laughs> New Street Bob of 114 is $13,995. I'm okay. assuming that's euros. Yeah. 2020 should have been, shouldn't have to use the key to manually lock your side case. Right. I mean, it's, it's little Not things, locking. right? Yeah. With the technologies there yeah. to, to, Good to do all this Tim. stuff. <laughs> yeah. right. They didn't keep trucking on with the Bronx naked bike. Agreed. You know, that's another bike. I'm a, I'm a, so I'm a bike lover. I love bikes. I'll ride whatever. You saw us ride Kawasaki's like a month ago. Um, I'm a Harley guy, but I just love riding motorcycles. So if they'd have built the Bronx, I'd have been interested in it. Um, just like I'm interested in the Pan America, um, I bashed the live wire till I got on it. And um, I liked it. I mean, I had to know exactly what it, you know, what it was and what use there was, but um, I really liked it. So um, I'd like to see him do more on that. When I test ride the live, I keep it sharp <laughs> for Ultron and Captain. Yes. Right? I like it. What is your opinion about Frankenstein? <laughs> I have a Street 500 trike here in Perth, Western Australia. Hmm. A Street 500 trike. 
I've never seen one of those. Mm -hmm. Is it, is it like the, and don't be insulted if, if I insult you. Um, is it like the training wheels trike or is it an actual full on, you know, um, drive axles, uh, the whole nine yards for a trike? Cause I've never seen one. Um, mm -hmm. and I'm interested. Do they make like a kit? The, oh, it's a picture. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was saying. Cause yeah, I'd like to know. Um, that's kind of, that's an interesting dot. Yeah. Soft off standard is now more than a one. He's on Facebook too. So. <laughs> I want to see it. Oh, why does that not surprise me? I mean, already in the Weems raffle, just got to keep spreading the word. That's it. Thanks, Toby. That's, that's what we do. Bikers supporting bikers. 1952 Triumph Speed Twin, painted just like the David Mann photo. Mm -hmm. So, um, very cool. I only care about the 1250. There you go. Been waiting years to learn more about these bikes, and they just keep pushing it aside. So, right, and, and they're probably pushing it aside because something's not right. That would be, I mean, if I were to take a guess at it, I would guess something, they haven't got something perfected. Something is, there's a flaw in the slaw, um, and they're trying to work that out. So that's why they keep just pushing it off and pushing it off and pushing it off. I don't know what that is, um, um, but I would have to guess that's probably the issues. Remote locking bags is available on the CV. It is, but you know, that's not, that's like power doors, right? That should be pretty typical mm -hmm. on all across the line. They have locking saddle, but right. That's it. Oh, who's that in here? How the heck do they get a trike out of a street 500? Yes. I'm curious too. That one, that one's got my, my attention. I want to see what that looks like. Fun fact, the HC motorcycle safety course, they use Street 500s. Yes, um, Angie took the course on a Street 500, and both my daughters are getting ready to take the course on Street yeah. 500s. I think that's why they kept them, because all the dealerships <laughs> buy these for their courses. So, you know, if they have, what do they have, 700 dealerships? If, every, if all 700 dealerships buy 10 of them, how many of those have they sold? That's their number one selling bike. Oh. <laughs> um, Full-on trike made by TC Customs in Perth. Cool. I'm going to have to look it up. Maybe yeah. they'll have a picture on there. Yeah. If I mention you, do I get two Weems tickets for one? <laughs> Nancy's if, mom. So you can... <laughs> if, you, if you mention us, you get one ticket for two. <laughs> so I wouldn't mention us. <laughs> But it is a good cause, so I would go over and buy at least one ticket. Jared's a great guy. You just need to go support him and what he's got going on. I'm sure we'll probably have him on our live this weekend. We're going to do a live from Gibstown, so I'm sure that he'll be on there um, so you guys can. Oh, we did we did a live where he took over our camera. We might too. have to do that so in Gibstown, too. Out, right? <laughs> he did awesome. <laughs> did Harley just change their ease? I don't know. I have not heard anything about that. Good question. I, I have no idea. What time Anybody does knows the or did the reveal start? It started at 11 a.m. Um, our time, Eastern time, 10 a.m. Central time. Um, you can go back and and find it. We it was not real well organized. Yeah, if you you can replay this, <laughs> so you can go back and and replay it, but just. You can fast forward to where we, we all we figured, actually out figured it out where the live was. So, yeah. Um, or just go to their website. <laughs> Toby said he heard something about that, but not on the live reveal. Yeah, I haven't heard anything about it. As far as, you know, tuners. Roy's got to go. Bye, Roy. Bye, Roy. I think, the, I think the biggest problem with tuners is all of the, the regulations, right? Um, they got in trouble a few years back for doing something with the tuners. So they have to be really careful with the tuners um, because of the EPA, ETA, whatever it is. I don't know. We we could barely get on to the. <laughs> Do you know when HD? I think they already have them updated. At least some of them are on there already, uh, but I think so. Lorenzo said, don't waste your time. 
Oh, probably for the, yeah. <laughs> the reveal. Why, they had a beautiful leather jacket. <laughs> the beard had the same struggle sharing the live stream, but it was still fun talking with the folks. I know. Uh, so That's the best part of the whole thing. So, Bert, I, I was actually over here watching yours at the same time. <laughs> yeah, it's going on. If I could do more things at once. Yeah, like, so to everybody watching our live stream, she was ignoring you and watching somebody else. Yeah, I'm here for you, though. I, I was got supporting. You. I was supporting Bert. <laughs> The biggest um, reveal was meeting some of the designers in the clothing line. Fascinating stuff. You know, like I said earlier, the one thing that stands out to me is when they're like, my name is blank and blank Davidson, and I'm the great, great grandson of, to me, that's really cool, yeah. right? That shows that legacy, that family passed down from generation to generation to generation. That's just, I mean, that's something that. Okay. And with that being said, too, you know, have. they got to be trying because they want to keep keep this going so right but no, it's just, it doesn't seem like anybody's listening to right to us i don't know why or you know we all need to go up there and i don't know kick in the door and tell them what we think <laughs> like listen to us <laughs> listen Not here sure. what's his name zeltz zykes something like that <laughs> Which we're talking about going by there. Um, it, it's, on the way back from Sturgis, yeah, we are from talking Sturgis. about going back, going by the HD museum and all. So we'll be sure and tell them what we think. Do they have, does anybody know, <laughs> do they have those little, like the boxes and the forms you can say, you know, put in what your thoughts are, <laughs> what you'd like to see, fill out the little form and fold it up and stick it in the box and, you know. <laughs> your suggestion box that thing would be so full it'd be overflowing i don't think they have a suggestion box nancy weems four generations awesome yeah that's awesome let's see was there anything earth shattering in the reveal yes the cbo's have rockford fosgate stereo systems i think that was the one thing that everybody <laughs> I mean, that, that was pretty much six. Oh, and we've got some new paint schemes. Green is the new black. Apparently, yes. I don't want to tell you. There really, there really wasn't. Um, nothing, nothing, yeah, nothing. Not anything we were getting from. What do we got here? U.S. prices. Softail standards, $13,599. $14,599 for a fat boy. No. No, Softail Standard's 13, Street Bob's 14, and Fat Boy's 25.99. Yes. That makes, that sounds about right. Yeah. Thanks for throwing that up there for us. Yeah, really. Yeah, buddy, really, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, but go see for yourself. I mean, right. Don't. Go check it out. <laughs> don't, don't let us discourage you. Yeah. You know, Fat Boy Special or. So. In 2005 and 2006, they did CVO Fat Boys, and that's the only two years they've ever done a CVO Fat Boy. I was really hoping for a CVO Fat Boy or even a CVO Soft Tail this year. Um, they do all the touring models, and that's all fine and well, but you know, just one of the other bikes as a CVO would have been cool. Um, so, right, yeah. Fat Boy Special, Fat Boy CVO, something along that lines, but. They just, I'm guessing they just don't sell enough of them <laughs> to do that. So what, you got to tell all the waitresses to what your opinions are? Right. <laughs> they get debriefed you know, tell after, them. <laughs> after, their, after their work day. <laughs> yes, that's my understanding. They went to Rockford Fosgate in the CVOs. I don't think they went, did they go to Rockford Fosgate in all of them or just the CVOs? The, the way I understood it was just the CVOs. So... Um, anybody that knows more than me on that, please post it in the suggestions. The suggestions. <laughs> please post it in the suggestions, damn it. <laughs> in the suggestion box <laughs> right. on your screen. <laughs> <laughs> please post it in the comments. Um, but, yeah, I mean, let's face it, Rockford Fosgate's a good company. Um, they're doing – they need to do more and more of that, you know, even to uh, – you know, maybe they need to go get legends to do their suspension for them. And, um, you know, they just need some performance, I think, if they're going to compete with, oh, the beard said CVOs. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's just the CVOs. So it's still the same old crap in the street glides and road glide specials and standards. So 
Hi, Tammy. Tammy just jumped on here. We just did the reveal, so if anybody wants to go back, push rewind, then fast forward a little bit. <laughs> Every time you mention <laughs> so the new CBO sound system, I hear Rockford Files Gate System. <laughs> <laughs> right. I need to get my book out and start reading. Um, is the GTS radio the same on the CBOs, or is it a completely different head unit? I'm going to guess it's the same. They didn't say anything about a re redone head unit. So I'm guessing that's probably the same. Anybody else know on that? So. Nancy. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys. So um, we've probably taken up enough of your time. We've been on here for an hour and 20 minutes. Holy crap. Um, and look, there's 112 people that are all not working. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. No, I'm not. We already said earlier you can blame it on us. Blame it on her. <laughs> me. Yes. On me. I'm innocent. <laughs> but um, anyway, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. We had a good time. The best part of it was talking to all of you while it was going on. Um, that was really fun and cool. Yeah. Otherwise, um, World Record Poker Run. <laughs> Go subscribe to get emails and updates from us. Ralph's his trike is in his Facebook profile. We'll have to go look at it. Oh, up. okay. Ralph will go to. Yeah, we gotta go see it. They keep marketing the urban millennial and T Sport, bro. <laughs> Where's the actual Harleys? Okay. Oh, right. They chromed out the fat boy. Thanks for this video check. Yeah. You're welcome. We appreciate all of you guys coming. And uh, can you send me a note for work? <laughs> Absolutely, freaking lootly. I'm sure they'll listen told, to me. I, Amy and her friend were wanting to come to the poker run, and uh, so I said, just let me know who your bosses are. I'll reach out to them and talk to them. <laughs> Tommy <laughs> asked, would you ride the Pan off. America to Sturgis? I mean, I guess if the opportunity was offered to me, um, I mean, I like a challenge. What I did would, you? I would probably do it. but The Kawasaki one, what, what were you riding on? I was riding the, the same style of bike yeah. in America is just smaller motor and all. He was just on one for the, yeah, the demo riding. For me, Kawasaki, I'm more so. of a lay freed out in front of me guy. And the one I rode was, you know, crotch rocket style with him right under you. Um, and, and that's just was not comfortable. comfortable. No? Not for a long, not for a long trip for sure. Um, one change this year, Chrome and blacked out for specials. Yeah. Yeah. Pan America. Run late to this live event. Pan America is um, February 22nd, I think. Go look it up on their site. Don't quote me on that. But they're going to announce the Pan America on a totally separate thing. It's going to be them and Jason Momoa because, you know, if Jason Momoa would ride it, everybody else would. Um, so, anyway, um, that's what they're going to do in February. I think they should rename I think they should rename it to Sturgis. Okay. All right, guys. We're going to get off here because we got to go back to work, too. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I don't want to leave you. You don't want to leave? Let's just hang out with them. Let's just hang out with them all day. <laughs> um, yeah, if nobody else has anything to talk about, though. <laughs> oh, what did he say? Jason going to spray paint his brand new free bike. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I was, you know, I might have been a little harsh about that. Um, I mean, they gave him the bike. He can do what he wants. Yeah, I would love to see him then pull out the Pan America for the reveal. And he's like, hang on a second. He grabs a spray can and spray paints the new Pan America before he rides it. To black, right? That would be hilarious. So that would be a good thing, right? Did they listen to his to somebody that rides Harley's? Did they get him a black bike, and that why he spray painted it was because he liked the black? <laughs> he so just didn't gonna... like new. I think is what he said. Oh, he doesn't like new. Okay. Yeah. All right. So That's they're gonna it. make it look old. So there we go back to he's telling him we want old looking style, and they're not listening even to the person that. I like Toby paying. said they they set a low standard, so the Pan America will be a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Good call. How many Later, of you Nancy. guys are out? Bye, Nancy. Um, how many of you are out where you can ride the Pan America? You can. It's it's designed to ride on highway and off. Okay. So it, yes, everybody can. Okay. That's 
what they're designed for. Okay. They're de designed to be a dual sport. All right. So I just wouldn't see, like you said, the comfort. Okay. Right. I but, just, I, to me, in my mind, I'm still thinking off-road. Yeah, it's, it's not a dirt bike. Okay. Sorry. If a Pan America, will you look like Jason Momoa? Um, <laughs> maybe. Right. Get a wig. That would be the only reason. Right. <laughs> Have all the women drooling. Right? You'd be Aquaman <laughs> or Drago. So we watched the, that's kind of funny. Um, he was Drago on King of Thrones. King, was it King of Thrones? What the hell? Something Thrones. Game of Thrones. Yeah. Game of Thrones. Um, I watched that after everybody, I mean, we watched it way late. It was all over. And you guys already like, seen you it. We were just it. doing that. And I had no idea he was in like five episodes. I thought like he was a star of the show. He was in like five episodes. Yeah. <laughs> you live and learn. All right. Anyway, guys, that's it. We got more people that just came on. <laughs> we did. Didn't we? All, All right, right guys. recap. So for, for everybody that's just tuning in, I'm going to go back and watch from the beginning. Today was the reveal of the 2020 models for Harley Davidson. Um, it's was less than exciting. Um, I was excited for it. I'd been waiting a year and a half for new model releases. Um, I was a little let down just because there wasn't a whole lot to it. But, um, I mean, they still make beautiful bikes. I mean, I don't think anybody can I deny did. that Harley Davidson builds some of the best looking, um, best feeling bikes out there. Um, so I'll give them that. Uh, I just think they need to do more. Yeah. Just join. Hope the lineup was good. It was the same. That's the best way I can say. Oh, they the first time I found you guys. You're all the fun. Oh. Where'd you find us on YouTube? We're on Facebook, so um, as well. So go check us out. The Badgers and the Biker Lifestyle. We got a big page there. We just reached 120,000 people on Facebook. On Facebook. Yep. We have a couple groups on there too that are all motorcycle stuff. Yes. So if you like to just hang out. And Post pictures of bikes and talk about bikes and trips and all that. Support bikers is the group. It's grown like crazy. We yep. do about three hundred. We have the support day. bikers. We have the supportbikers.com website Toby, where you can go on not. and list yourself. Um, it's completely free. And then we've got the world record poker run coming up in September. So um, September. Did I say that right? July. 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 So 30th. July thirtieth, we leave Florida. Our, August 6th, we end in Sturgis, and we'll set a world record for the world's longest poker run. So if you can, it'd be awesome if you could Come join us. join us. Let's break that record. Um, Does anyone have the link? This is Rider X. Oh, my. They've only just begun. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? We're good to drag on? What are you saying, Toby? I hopped on too late. Does anyone have the link to the official release? I, I don't have the link, but if you want to rewind this video, it's in there. Um, the video for the release is in there. Um, Whit just popped over. Hey, Whit. Hey, Whit. You just got to um, they <laughs> fast forward till we yeah. actually found the, the actual like everybody video. else was having issues to find the, the live and what was going on and understanding everything. But. So I think that was another disappointment, right? So I went in and signed up early because that's what they told you to do. Um, and it says, you're in. Put it on your calendar. I put it on my calendar. And then they were supposed to send me an email to get into it. No email. Nothing. I literally yeah. had to search the internet to find the freaking live. So I, I, that sucked. So, with fun. I saw Witwas with Baggers and Brews over there chatting. Traitor? Like, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was on their show, I was double watching Wit. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> All right, we're getting off here. I keep saying that and then people keep popping on. Well, we've got people that spread the word about the poker run up. Oh, thank you. To a couple of management podcasts. Awesome. Okay. Love it. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, it's been phenomenal. We, we, announced it like two weeks ago i think we've already had like 100 people sign up on the website um it's yeah. just been phenomenal um we are we are loving it <laughs> awesome all right guys all right.
Are you done? I'm done. We got to get off here. We do have yes. stuff to do. We got stuff to do. All right, guys. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for tuning yep. in. Thanks Spending for... an hour and 29 minutes of yeah. your life. You'll never On get back. On a Tuesday yes. in the middle of the day. So enjoy. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully nobody got in trouble at work. Just blame Mama Badger. <laughs> Great to meet you. I'll take a look at the website. Fantastic beans. Awesome. Thanks so much. Thank All right, you. guys. Go get yourself, pin yourself on the map. Bye. Right. Adios. Bye. <laughs>